Live. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going live a little early today. I literally just dropped my phone on my hand. I was just uploading the thumbnail and we're 10 minutes early. NBD, right? No big deal. Um, wow, I'm almost not ready for this. Welcome to the live show. It's Monday. New time, new me, new um, opportunity to hang out live, I guess. Um, can you guys, even, can you see the ceiling? Like I wasn't even done. I wasn't ready. I was positioning the camera and everything. Hi guys. Okay. So today I didn't even get my scissors. I was still prepping. Wow. Welcome to the live show. Uh, Monday, every, every Monday, 2 p.m. PST. I hang out with you guys on the interweb and we go live sometimes 10 minutes early literally was like just putting you guys on the um that thingy the tripod and the phone like fell and my hand hit the live button so I was like I guess we're live now um cool so today we're making plastic shaker bows um also a newsletter did not go out this month this Monday morning um but there is tons of new Easter files and printable Easter stuff and really fun stuff that is available to our members. So play with it, have fun with it, all the things. Um, but I'm going to find you guys on here so I can read the replay here. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Priscilla. Hi, Becky. Hi, Nay. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Steph. Hey, um fresh bows creations. So maybe you'll be helpful if you make bows. So one of my friends actually sent me this and I don't even think she knew I was making anything. Uh, and so I instantly went to our new Joann's and grabbed this vinyl in ridiculously large. I was hoping they would just have a ribbon sized <laughs> plastic one. I'm sure they probably do somewhere on Amazon at Hobby Lobby somewhere. But I, okay, you guys can literally just like see the ceiling almost. So fun views, fun views. But uh, yes, email us. For some reason, I don't get the emails anymore. Uh, yes, make sure you either email us or re-sign up for the emails. Wow, I just hit the charging cord. So if you're just joining and you're like, she's early, what the heck? Is that better? Um, I accidentally hit the go live button. And I was just moving tables around because I wanted this to be like good. And I already can tell I need to tweak it a little bit. So excited I'm catching you live. I have YouTube set up and an alert and I haven't been getting them when you come on. Oh no, so maybe I just have to accidentally go live and then it sends out the alert. I just made one of these bows two days ago. So fun. So you guys are going to have to tell me how to do this if I'm doing it wrong. So what I wanted to do, I also did not grab a spoon or something to protect my surface because those were the next steps in my life. Um, this is back in stock, by the way, if you guys don't did not get your hands on our glitter set, our chunky glitter set, this is back on itsprettypersonal.com. Members get 20% off or 30% off. Um, we also have um, two new tube lines coming this week, hopefully this week. So I will send out an email as soon as those are. So if you're not on the email list, make sure you're on the email list. Look how pretty these look in this lighting. This lighting is bomb. You guys all were like, I love the setup. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be working on this area of the studio, making sure it's like good because this is where I like going live and all the things. So, hi, Tammy. Hey, Katie. Hey, Priscilla. Um, how are you on this morning, Monday afternoon? Um, how is everybody doing? I am doing great. I um, am still crafting for the Disney trip. Any guesses on who I'm going with? Anybody figuring it out? Um, I don't know how to make these bows. This is my first time doing it, so... Uh, I don't know if I have everything ready, but I also don't have a lighter. I'm going to use a hot glue gun because I figured it's hot enough. So basically you take this and fold it in on itself, fill it with glitter, and then seal it so that it's like a bow. So I think what I need to do is 
just cut like a strip off. So I'm only dealing with like a strip of this. Oh, I have my sticky things scissors too. These are all I have. Ooh, but this cut's really fun. I already can tell I like this material to like play with, but I don't know exactly how I'm gonna dig making bows out of it, but we'll find out. So I'm just cutting off like a strip. I think I got a yard of it, $6 for a whole yard. So I can probably make a ton of bows with that. Um, hey guys, um, love the light. Yes, thank you, thank you. I gotta figure out how to get a like lapel mic that goes for my phone because got the new phone, the new iPhone 13 because it was time for an upgrade. Clearly we were having issues. So um, I think I wanna do like, okay, she sealed it. She, how did she do it? So, so you have to like seal the edges. I think I'm just gonna make like a square, a rectangle, a square, and then turn it into a rectangle by folding it in half. Fill that with glitter. So like this, and then fill this with glitter. So these are gonna be for Mickey ears. You don't have to do them this big. And then cinch it. So the sides will be sealed, and this will be sealed, and this will be sealed. Is there a better way to do this? I feel like, I feel like if you did thirds like this, it might be easier because you'd only have to seal the sides like that and then do our Mickey ear cinching like that and then there'll be glitter inside of it thirds but my biggest thing is how do I close this without making holes in it if I hot glue it but we'll figure it out that's what we're doing so we need to put some glitter in here um Two rectangles. Okay, the thing about two rectangles is you have to seal all the edges and I, I wanna do the least amount of sealing as possible. Plus I like that um, that raw, like that rounded edge right here for the top of the bow versus like a flat sealed edge because then I feel like it would look more like sharp on the edges and I'm not sure if I like that. Um, a good lapel mic for the phone. This is the 80s throwback. I remember having a bow, a few bow just like this when I was really young. Yeah, so this is like all the style right now is 90s and 80s. Like I used a hair straightener. So I, I think same concept. I'm gonna use just like the tip of my hot glue gun to melt it um, and or just put a little hot glue and it probably will melt it together. I don't know. So should I seal up should I attempt to seal this first and then dump the glitter? I could seal this and like the side and then dump glitter down into it and then seal it and shake it around. I feel like that. But I also kind of don't like the sharpness of these edges either. So I mean, if we raw edged them, not raw edged them and did it more like that, Still gonna be kind of pointy. This is fun stuff. You need to have your wax paper on the parchment paper to protect your glue gun. Okay, that makes sense. Maybe I should use one of my like cheap glue guns. Like one I got, or do I have one that doesn't have any glue in it? Yes, so here's an Art Minds one that never has had any glue in it. And it's one of the cheaper ones. So I'm actually gonna like label this as my plastic sealer. How about that? Um, I'm going to, hold on, plug this in, but I wanna leave my other hot glue gun plugged in too. <laughs> Can you guys even hear me? I wanna leave my other hot glue gun plugged in too, just in case we end up needing to hot glue it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, do you have, what's the material? So it's a vinyl, it's just by the, they have like thin, thick, and extra thick. It's like, to me, it reminds me of what we used to put on like tablecloths. Do you remember, did your guys' parents ever do that? My grandma did that. Um, she would have like a tablecloth down, but then she would have this over it to make sure that, you know, she didn't have to wash the linen all the time. You could just wipe this down and it's a little bit, keeps your nice linens um, not dirty. So am I alone in that? Where's my comments? Where's my comments, peeps? What you guys up to? Okay. 
Where are you gonna go? Because I can move. I unplugged you, so. Okay, you, that hot glue gun has fallen over eight million times already, so that's fun. Okay, I'm gonna move my laptop just a little bit. They have different gauges of vinyl, 16 or 20 weight. I think it even goes thicker, and this is, I'm not sure what weight this one is. It says, oh, but it's, look at that. It literally has like ideas on this paper of things that you can do with it. Protect your floors, storage protection, furniture, blankets. So it's for protection. Countertops, oh, like couches. Like did anybody of you guys have family that put plastic on your couches? I did not, but I could see why that would be, or even like if you were to put it under like your couch cushion, ooh, that would be weird. But like we literally just washed all of our couch cushions and you could put plastic under your couch cushion so then you just like nothing seeps in if it gets wet into the actual cushion. I don't know, was that like more of like a older generation type thing to do or do people still do this? Am I missing out? Am I forgetting to put plastic on all the things, guys? What is going on? Okay, so I'm going to let this heat up. You uh, you just to slide off the couch. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe like, maybe we can test it out on these stairs. I'm trying to do like a DIY on these stairs because they're brown, but they're like definitely here in the shot. And I don't want to get they offered to do the floors in this studio if I was going to stay for three years in this studio and I don't I don't know if I'm going to be in this studio for three years honestly so I just was like no I'll DIY the floors or they can just be brown who cares um yes my grandma had the plastic on the couch oh my goodness looks like they would use that for protecting their stuff when they were away for vacations. Interesting. Or like, do anybody have family members or was that family member or has parents like this um, where you had like the sitting room but nobody sat in it. It was just there to look pretty. Um, I just, I don't understand it. <laughs> like, I like to use every area of my home. Otherwise, why have it exist? Why own a piece of anything that you have to maintain but nobody gets to utilize. Okay, I said I was gonna seal this before I put glitter in it and here I am just putting glitter in it. <laughs> oh man, maybe I just wanted to like visually see what the glitter is gonna look like inside of the plastic. You guys can't see it because I can't turn it. Okay, we're gonna, we're just gonna go for it. Or since the glitter, no, I'm gonna dump the glitter back in the thingy. Now, I have been playing with the jars, making all the things, and I really dig the jars because I so often can like use a spoon and sprinkle right over the jar and it goes back into the jar. So I've been liking the jar a lot. Okay, I'm going to, I'm gonna do like a overlap them in thirds like this, and then I'm just gonna over both layers, run the hot glue gun and see if that will melt both of them. We're trying it. I'm trying it. You guys don't have to try it. I'm going to try it. And then if you like it, you can do it. If you don't like it, don't do it. That's the fun of watching other people on the internet. Mm, no, this might not be hot enough either. This guy's really hot. So I'm going to just see what happens here. Again, this is going to be melting plastic. So fumes, all the things. Nope. I feel like I feel like hot glue would be fine. And the hot glue will kind of melt the plastic to itself. I'm gonna hot glue it and see what happens. If it makes a hole, then it makes a hole. I'm just gonna put a little strip of hot glue, see what happens. Hopefully it melts a little bit, but not like a ton, you know? It's not melting at all. I kind of want it to melt, you know? Because I, I don't think the hot glue will hold it if it doesn't melt it a little bit. So you can be a little bit more liberal with the glue. Let's see if that'll help. If I put a little bit more hot glue on. But not too much. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, a good amount of hot glue, but not like a ton. And it's getting more like pliable. And this is what the seam looks like on the back. But this is what, like just a tiny bit of glue. Double-sided top won't hold it. Double-sided tape, oh, tape. Love the yellow on your nails. Is it gel? It is. I was letting my nails breathe and I was going to start to do my nails at home. And then I was like, screw it. I need to just go get my nails done. I was breaking them. I had like, I didn't have acrylic on my nails and I just have to have my nails done. Otherwise they're going to break. And I was filming tutorial. I am filming tutorials today. So I needed to have my nails done, but my ring is being serviced. So I just have my wedding band on, but I was like, I love filming with my new ring on because I love my new ring. Even though it's not the newest, I had it for a couple years now, but it was time to get serviced. Okay, so I want to make sure there's at least a seal because you don't want any of that glitter to get out. And there's one little gap right here that doesn't have any glue. So, okay, this stuff doesn't melt as easily as I thought. And the tutorial that she sent me was a lighter. They used a lighter to seal the edges, and I don't think I was about that because that's really melting plastic. Um, it's like a vinyl that you can buy from the fabric store that has, um, that's for like couch protecting and stuff. It comes in a big old roll and you buy it by the yard. And I think I bought a yard and I will have a lot. Okay, so now I'm gonna seal the edges. I almost wanna like turn, let me see what I could do to make this more bowish. I just don't want it to be like super pokey like that. Is that gonna look weird if it's super pokey? I don't know. Oh well, it's our first one, we can do it and see if we like it at the end. Um, I also wanna do like a pretty clean line because it is gonna show. Unless we like blinged the edges. I mean, it's not, Not awful, but you can definitely see the glue. You see that? But now you have like a pouch. That's fun. Hey, April. Um, no one wants those plastic fumes. No. Yeah, that's what I was thinking when I was like, I don't really want to melt plastic and fire in my studio. Like, there's already enough toxic fumes in here that happens all the time. Okay, so now, is this bow like too wide too? Cause I could shorten it, but I kind of want, so it'll be like that, that's huge. <laughs> it's a little too big. Um, so I'm gonna trim it a bit down to like where we keep Mickey ears. So like right there. Now see, that is really like, I like that edge, how clean it is versus this edge. So if I wanted to like do them a little bit longer and then fold them in, like all the way to the middle or just fold the edges. I don't know. So I'm gonna cut it down though. We're gonna commit to this method and then I'll decide. So I'm gonna cut it down to about that wide. That's about how wide my Mickey ears are when I make them. So cut it down, dump some glitter. How much glitter? I don't know. Do you want like the whole thing full? Mm, I think these, I think, this is kind of a big bow for, I don't know. I'm gonna try to shake it so like static is in there too. Okay, let's seal it. I ideally would like to have one in every glitter color. And then I'm gonna make a character bow to attach them to ears. You can interchange them, all the things. Um, too bad you don't have a hot knife. Yeah, I do have hot tools though. I have like lots of things that would work. Um, loved jelly shoes, right? I know we should be reminiscing on all the fun things that we loved as kids. Jelly shoes though, man, you would get sweaty. One of my, actually, fun story, because my friend who literally sent me this tutorial, 
Um, she lives out of state, so I thought it was funny that she sent me this. And she never sends me tutorials, but she was like, this is so cute, I thought of you. And I was like, that's perfect, I need to make those. Um, but when we were kids, we've been friends since fifth grade, we were at a birthday party and um, it was like at a playground and it was hot. I think it was like the last day of the year. It was like a graduation sixth grade birthday. And we were running around on the playground and she was wearing jelly shoes. And literally we were running up the stairs and she slipped and I was laughing because I was behind her and I was like, oh my gosh, you fell. And she turned around and she was covered in blood. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're gonna die. Like what is happening? And she literally just slipped in her jelly shoes and whacked the perfect spot. Has anybody ever been hit in the head or like hit your head just in that gusher spot? It literally just one hit right there and was like just gushing blood. And it was like terrifying, like it terrified me. She turned around and I was like, oh my gosh, that's not funny. Like you're, you're dying. And then, and then I tried to run with her to go get help. And she's like, I can't see. Like, this is a horrible story, but like she couldn't see because she had so much blood on her face. And then she was like slipping in her shoes. So I was like, take your shoes off. And then we were running through like this field of really dry, itchy grass. And it was like hurting her feet. And I just like, I feel like it's just an awful, awful time. All that to say jelly shoes were cute until your feet were super sweaty and you would slip. Um, my sister and I had every color of the jelly sandals and they smelled like strawberries or like where they were infused with glitter look at this is fun it's kind of cute i'm not i'm not i i want to have more poofy sides so i think i feel like it needs to do some more bending for this i don't know like with a character on the ears might be cute what do you guys think horrific i'd be in panic the comments there oh there we go i'd be in panic and not know what to do i panic badly yeah i i guess i panic badly too i panicked um yes my grandma also had it on her furniture we weren't allowed on it <laughs> you're losing glitter a little bit and it's pretty sealed in there i think it might just be on the outside so i'm not sure about these maybe like little baby ones would be really cute I'm not sure about the big ones. What do you guys think of these? How would you guys construct them? Do you think, I wanna try to make one with the edges folded in. I wanna try to make one where the seals, there's no seals, like glue seals on the edges. So we gotta master, maybe I'll just attempt and it can be like little if it needs to be little and then I'll know the, the like folding technique and then I'll know how big I need to cut it to make a Mickey ear sized one. So we'll work backwards. Uh, fold the edges all the way to the middle. Right, that's what I wanna fold the edges to the middle and then the edges to the middle on the outside too. It's also a matter of like, do you fold the sides in first and then the tops or opposite? Like this is all that goes into my brain when I come up with a new craft or I'm trying to figure out a new craft. I test everything. So I'm just gonna like fake fold it to see like what the dimensions look like. And then I'm gonna figure out, okay, you need to cut. It needs to be like this shape. So this is getting me like a, this is gonna get me more of like a square. And then it's kind of tall. And then you'd have to go from there. That's a lot of bending. See, that's another thing is with so many folds, it's a lot of thickness. So almost like folding it to where it doesn't overlap, but just has like, this isn't overlapping, then you, you don't even really need to seal it. You just need to seal whatever. Okay, hear me out, Let, stay with me. I'm trying, trying something out. I just gotta be able to fold so if you fold so that there's like this cross bar, see how that's only layered twice now, that's layered twice, that's layered twice, that's layered twice, then you'd be able to kind of fold it. Or maybe not. That's still a lot of plastic to cinch in the middle. I don't know about that. Um, 
think with heat to seal the ends, you an upholstered and use a hot knife for soldering iron to seal some edges. We couldn't wait walk on the carpet. Yeah, walk on it. Yeah, there's rooms where you like can't walk in it. There are some lighter gauges of clear vinyl too. Just the paper says what gauge it is. Um, trying to watch live on my TV while designing on Design Space and commenting on here, my laptop. We'll see if I can multi that. Oh, well, you got that comment through. Okay, so what if I just do like the edge like that? Ooh, you could almost do like multiple color glitters if you sealed the edges and then folded these down. You'd get kind of a... Like that would be your edge. I still don't like it. I don't like it. What do you guys think? I am losing glitter. There's a hole somewhere. So, oh, it's also sealed. Hmm. I feel like I should have started with a little baby bow so I could practice, but if this was like half this size and it was like that size, it'd be cute. I don't get how it becomes a bow. You go like this. Well, to a degree you go like this, but I don't know if I like it. So you, you cinch it and then you would wrap it with like some sort of ribbon. So then it's like that for the middle of your ears. What do you think? <laughs> um, what about a hair straightener with parchment paper covering your plates? That's a great idea. Uh, it folds like a five eighth seam. What are we crafting? Just joining. I'm attempting different techniques with plastic bows. Um, I want to see if I can find the tutorial that she sent me and see if I can see what they did. I'm pretty sure they did almost exactly what I just did, but we'll see. Um, how's, how are things going on this fine Monday for everyone? They are doing yard work outside or they're spraying for bugs again. They just sprayed for bugs. Here we go. Okay. So this person is using, um, actual, plastic like ribbon and there's somebody literally outside my window and oh this person did a half and half bow that makes sense but they still they still did the edges okay so what this person did was it was a long strip started out like this in like a ribbon and then they folded this and this was just half of the bow and the other side was ribbon. It was like cross grain ribbon. So I could either do that and then you just fill one side with glitter. Uh, Monday sucks until now. There you go, way to make your Monday better, right? Um, so then you just had to seal the edges, the side edges of this. But I still don't like it that much with it sealed. I want it to be like poofy. You know what I'm saying? Like, then the edges would just be sealed right here. I gotta read you guys' comments. I'm in my own world over here. Where'd you guys go? Um, okay, just need to play with it. What are the materials you're using? You can also add a liquid. Oh, that would be fun. I'm tired today. I got in the zone of video on filming and went to bed way too late. It's vinyl, hot glue, and glitter. Mondays suck. Oh, I already read that. Waiting for the storms to be in for, for the Dallas Fort Worth again. Wow, there's another storm coming through. Oh yeah, there's there is a storm coming through. Um, I remember that. I don't know. I'm not feeling this, but I know I gotta do it. I know I gotta do it. I know I gotta do it. Okay. Um I don't want to make it a half bow. How do you guys feel about this bow? Does it look lame as heck? Do you think maybe if it was a baby bow, it would be 
Let's make a baby bow. Let's make a little one so we can fill the whole thing with glitter. And then maybe if they're smaller, they'll not be so... I mean, you could like faux the outside if you wanted with like edges like that, that weren't sealed. Okay, hold on. So if you did another layer, which you could, you could do a few and then it would have an edge like that. I kind of like the faux idea, like wrapping it with another layer of vinyl so that it's smooth. Um, I'm not crazy about the bow so far. Maybe a baby bow. Let's start with a baby bow and then we can do a little faux outside to see if that helps. So I think I'm getting closer to liking it. Okay, so a baby bow. The nice thing is if you don't like it, you didn't waste all your glitter, you can just cut it and dump the glitter back in. So it's a $6 experiment, guys, with this plastic stuff. Okay, I'm gonna make a baby bow. And then we're gonna make a faux wrap if we need to, if I feel like I need to, which I do, because I don't like the edges at all. And a way I like to get a really clean line, which I just really did not execute well, is going from a little higher and dragging my hot glue gun so then I can kind of control the drip of it. I need to do like a hot glue gun's hacks. I'm definitely not being the best hot gluer right now that's because i'm just trying to experiment so this is what i do when i'm trying out a new craft i literally just use a ton of material and experiment until i like it and try new things and all things um like big bows i like big bows and i cannot lie it needs help but it's full of potential guys i don't need you guys to like spare my feelings. I need help making a fancy bow. I got it. It's, it's, I, I'm good. We're, we're in the zone where things are going to look like, look, look bad. Okay. We're going to make a baby bow. Cause it's to be expected. It's supposed to look bad until we get it exactly how we want it. Okay. So I am going to make this cute little baby bow and then I'm gonna make a little wrap for it, which you could do layers. Like you could almost do another version of this, just a little bigger and put another color in it. Then make the wrap. You could wrap it in like tool. I have tool out in the warehouse. That would be really cute or lace even see this is why we practice we we just go crazy because then the brain starts to think of like solutions because you're like oh that's a problem how do i fix it okay so now we have this square okay it's a square this is what the back looks like a little funky looks like looks like product packaging basically and some glitter yes to the uv resin uh, maybe cut them in a, oh, a circular edge. Mm, see, I like that idea. And I'm going to just seal it. I'm just going to give it just a little circular edge. Just a little one. And then I need to seal that where I made a little hole. So just barely putting a tiny bit of glue on those edges, it did melt it together. I like that concept. Kind of let it start to melt and then squash it. See, gotta play with stuff too. So I wanna get the glitter to be a little even. And then I would need to grab some ribbon. Okay, so here's what circular edges did made it kind of like that shaped. But what I want to do is make like a faux wrap for it because I want those edges to look bow-like. But then we're running into really thick. So I might just faux, can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm gonna faux edge 
to like there. I definitely could have just gone to the edge of that and only cut this side, but I'm just testing things out here. Okay, I wanna make a faux edge, but I don't want the edges to go all the way to the center because I've gotta crinkle this into a bow somehow. Could probably, eh, I don't wanna cut it unless I have to, let's see. We'll see how crinkling this goes. I'm literally almost to the point where I just folded it twice too, but I'm just trying to not have so much like plastic in the center so that when I go to cinch and fold it, it um, isn't so bulky. Have you showed off all the ears you've made for the trip yet? I have not because there's bling all over them that's not out yet and the bling comes out on Monday. So we have a glitter launch this week and Monday our princess line launches. And so I'll have a vlog up showing all of that. And then Monday live next week, I can show off the ears I'm making, the Minnie Mouse purses I'm making, all the things I'm making for the trip. I just can't show you yet because the bling is not out. Okay, so I am basically just doing what I did on that first round, but making it way more complicated. Hold on, glitter, go on both sides. Hmm. Okay, so definitely not needed to be bigger than it is. Like almost needs to be, okay, here's what I was gonna do and I think I'm gonna do it. I'm going to make this like, wrap that's exactly the same size but like tapers okay <laughs> so it's now the same height but i cut it so that it tapers down so that when i cinch it's not going to make this weird weird thing which definitely didn't need to use all this vinyl for but hey i've got a lot to play with so all this to get rid of the raw edge and it's probably not even gonna take it away that much. But you never know. I, I personally think it's a lot cuter without the raw edge. So you see how it's like folded there and then the raw edge from this is folded. So let's get that glitter evenly. And then I'm using the fold, the perfect bow fold from our fabric, which might need to be, the dimensions might need to be changed up a bit. Okay, okay, okay. I see you. Okay, this is what the bow looks like now. How are we feeling? Let's put some ribbon on it. I really need to label my ribbon bins because it's kind of like, I just kind of grab individual boxes and forget which ones have what in it. Okay, here's a good one. This one has some. I'll just use this. Hey, it's an aerial bow. Okay, so we're just gonna tie ribbon around it. It's really cute, I'm digging it. All right, I don't know, we'll see. I'm not gonna do the rubber band technique either. I'm just gonna use, okay, so I like this concept a lot. I'm gonna scrutinize it when it's done and then we're gonna make a big one, okay? Okay, well, I have to remember we went live early too because I, don't want this to be any longer than an hour, but I have some tutorials to film. I designed all weekend some crazy fun stuff for sublimation and sewing. So if you like sublimation and sewing, and I'm gonna attempt to make them no sew as well. So if you like sublimation and sewing or sublimation and possibly sewing, they might be for you. So, yeah, no pun intended. Okay, here's where we're at. How are we feeling? How are we feeling? So that glitter only goes to the raw edge and I feel like you're gonna be able to see a lot more imperfections on the bigger version, but this is really fun because you could make a layer with one color and then another layer with another color and all the things. I don't know, you could get really creative with it. So here's a little baby one. These are cute. Oh. 
I wish the girls were little. Um, I'll have to send some to the little girls I know in my world. So can you link the plastic? It's from Joann's. I can look on Amazon and see if they have any, but um, I can add some to Mickey Ear Factory too on my Amazon store. Let me see. What is this stuff called? Vinyl table cover cloth? Vinyl table cloths for rectangle tables vinyl table protector i mean you might be able to just buy like a yeah they have it on him uh, i don't know the weight see there's some really thick ones 1.5 millimeters thick pvc that's not what we want okay here we go clear vinyl tablecloth protector waterproof oil proof rectangle plastic transparent sheet table 54 by 120 inches 18 dollars though that's a lot I would want to make sure that this is the actual material you need. It looks like it, but you could, or you could go to Joann's and get it. So let's, let's, since we already have this one done, just make a wrap for it. Woo! There's definitely a hole somewhere in it, <laughs> but the wrap will help it. So since the wrap doesn't need to be the same size, it needs to just go around the edges. I'm going to cut just this little strip like this. So it's just a little bigger, see that? And then I'm gonna tack it. And okay, I know I could like fold the edges in originally and seam a lot, like make it a seam, but I feel like that gives it a weird look on the inside of the bow, cause you can see all that. So I just want this edge to be really pretty. I really think tulle around this would be so adorable too though. Like tulle, lace, anything that's see-through enough to where you could still see that glitter, but take away a little bit of that plastic feel. I might have to do that. I might have to do that because that's really, I think it would be adorable. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut these edges down. I also rounded those edges, I remember, so. Cut these edges down at an angle. You stay, stay there. I didn't want to hold it too tight because I didn't want them it to make a hole in it. And then I'm gonna cut this edge down, this edge down, this edge down. There. So now you've got like, I'm gonna cut this down a little bit too so that it's more the other edge you're seeing. So it just needs to be a little lower than the original bow. So then the edges are still these poofy edges. And then these edges are these poofy edges. I'm saying this as if I'm a master now and I just created this technique. So I'm not yet. And we're going to, this is really cute for Ariel. I love this color. Can you guys guess the characters we're bounding as? We're bounding as 16 different characters <laughs> and or inanimate objects. Um, and I also haven't told you guys who I'm going with yet either. So I will announce that soon or on my stories or somewhere, somewhere fun. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna start fresh and make this kind of flat. So I wanna get these folds, these folds going. Oh, sorry. I just want to read your guys' comments. I don't want to miss out on all the fun. Um, that looks cute. Upholstery section. Yes. So it's in like the larger fabrics rolls that are like laid up against the wall in big rolls. Usually. I don't know. Not every Joann's is the same. Who am I to pretend like I know what your Joann's looks like? Our new Joann's is off the heezy. Do people still say that? Um, it's literally has a glow forge you can rent for out the hour and i already told stephanie i'm gonna call her and we're gonna go do an hour so i can learn to use it and which is so exciting i don't know if all joann's are going this route but i really hope they are because we have some amazing announcements for glow forge users and if you are not a user then you can be hopefully if joann's is doing this sorry there i think i found the hole right on that corner. Seal your holes before you wrap it because that's not the easiest thing. Okay, this is really cute though, guys. I kind of like it. 
Um, I feel like it's a little too wide though. I still would probably go a little bit thinner width wise, but also I might, I want to get this, I want to get this like popping before. Okay. So I think maybe if you blew air in it or something to have it like a little air filled cavity, I want this to be like poofy before I squash it because I don't want it to be squashable. I want it to be squashable, but I don't want it to be squashed. Glitter's coming out of somewhere. You were right, Clarita. Okay, I don't know how to make it poofy, but I wanted it poofy, but I'm also making a plastic bow, so can't have my cake and eat it too. But I can, there has to be a way. I, I feel like if I got it to be poofy, it would be um, not as wide. So we can tie some ribbon around it and call it a good bow and tweak it some more later. I'm not sure how I feel about this, um, but I wanted it to be more poofy. I'm gonna play with it some more. Finally made it to a live, welcome. Um, I love it, I'm so happy you used my ideas. Uh, you can put the puff balls in it. Oh, that's such a cute idea for like up. I love that. Yes, you could put poof balls, which I have a bunch right here and sequins and all the things. We went live early today because I accidentally pressed the um, go live button <laughs> on the video. How do you feel? On Mickey ears? Do you like the color? I don't know. I, I really want to make one in every color, but I want to learn the best technique before I go about doing that. The baby bow, I feel like, was a lot cuter. They're a lot cuter little in baby bows. And you could do two or something. Baby bows for the win. I liked the rounded edges. Um... This is really cute though. And you could put pom-poms in it and fluff balls. I don't know if I would do fluff balls and glitter. I feel like that would get really messy looking, but it would be really cute with the pom-poms in it. But I really wanna put glitter in it more than pom-poms right now, just cause I wanted to show off all the glitter in different craft, so. Um, glitter from Auntie Tay's glitter sold at itsprettypersonal.com. Yes, and if you remember, you use your discount codes. These chunky glitters are all back. This is the, um, the Tinker, they're all tink, they're all Peter Pan and Tinkerbell themed, as you're going to see with the next two collections that are coming out. Um, but these ones are the chunky pixie dust, and these are all based after the fairies. I was like, where's the other color? The other color is the one we were just using, so... We've got Spirited Critter is like this color and they all look very different when they are sealed with like epoxy versus loose. So I will be showing off those two things in different tutorials. Um, Dash, no, this is Dust Keeper. This is Dust Keeper. Um, so this is named after the Pirate Fairy. Uh, Sunray is based after Iridessa. Frost is based after Tinkerbell's twin sister. Blossom is after the pink fairy, red fairy, pink fairy, um, red fairy. Dash is after the fast, fast flying purple fairy and Dewdrop is after the water fairy. So she's really pretty. I love all of these, they're so fun. Um, and I'm, I've been crafting with them to show them off too. So I can't wait to share more things that we're making. Um, but two of our ultra fine sets are coming back. So if you guys don't remember, I had 40 ultra fine glitters in, um, anti take glitter before. And these are super, super fine glitters that we named Pixie Dust for a reason because they are finer than a lot, even It's Pretty Personal um, is relaunching her colors that we used to carry, but in our size, so it's new, it's Pixie Dust. And look for an email, they will be available 
in the next couple days, hopefully. And um, as soon as they're available, my members will get seven days notice before the general public and before she sends it out to anybody. So if you're a member, you'll get that email and your code and all the things. Also, you can use 20% off or 30% off depending on what kind of member you are um, on her whole website. So if you just love It's Pretty Personal's glitter, then you can get her glitter. Her glitter is so pretty. I'm gonna, like I, as much as glitter is kind of crazy to work with, um, I probably will be endorsing a shark vacuum pretty soon, but just saying like, I'm actually gonna be needing to get a shark vacuum because I have like this really cheap Walmart vacuum here that it's getting a little tapped out on how much we vacuum up glitter. Um, how do I upgrade to business without waiting until my next payment? Um, you can, you would probably just have to wait till your next payment if you don't wanna get charged for both. So um, just, I would just have, I would just wait or you can, cancel and then wait a couple weeks and then sign up if you don't want to be charged twice like in one month so just make sure you want to be a business member before you join if you do it's 25 dollars a month um i'll be i'm working on revamping the business member course soon and the price of the membership probably will go up for business members so just so you know if you want to be a business member um once that is revitalized soon, especially since we're getting more and more business partners that give you guys 30% off, that's going to be worth it. But it's going to be, so you'll be locked in at the $25. So if you want to be a business member, it's a good time to join because it's almost time to revamp it. And you never know when I'm going to up it because the content in it is going to be pretty cool soon. Um, plus, we have really amazing partner to share in a couple weeks that I'm so excited for. Um, I have a shop, shop vac from Home Depot. I don't have a shop vac here and this is a shop, so I need a shop vac, huh? Um, what, or that is what I need for a commercial license. Um, at, we have commercial rights membership, which is $13, which is like, you don't wanna really buy craft products you just want to be able to use our designs and so that's $13 a month um if you're just a general crafter though $8 a month and that's we're not raising that price ever so um unless the dollar goes up to like you know unless like gas is uh, this is when I will raise my craft membership when gas hits $15 a gallon okay I will have to raise my membership at that that point in life okay so just so you know i promise you i won't raise the membership price for the the crafting members but if gas hits 15 dollars a gallon i would probably have to raise it just for the sake of life so i don't think that'll get there but you never know probably in like 10 years i can't promise you any more kits coming out um Possibly, but not any time in the making. We have Bling coming back, Reimagined, plus new mixes, plus a huge announcement pretty soon on Bling. Um, and then glitter sets are coming back to restock our 40 plus extra colors. And a huge new partnership coming out April 4th that I'm so excited for. Um, you're as a can master. <laughs> I don't know what that means. All right, I'm gonna get going. Thank you for testing out plastic boats with me today. I really feel like that was not, like, I didn't, I don't know. I just, I can't wait to share with you the real crafts I'm working on. But again, they all have sacred products on them that I can't show you yet. So, um, but I will demo what these look like, sealed and not sealed and in resin and in not in resin, but they are all paired with bling right now in projects so i can't show you yet you gotta wait till next monday all right i love you guys i'll see you guys in a week all right and i'm not sure when i'll tell you who i'm going to disneyland with or disney world with but you guys can still keep guessing because it's fun um we're gonna be walking instead of driving uh we will be walking oh yeah we will be walking if that was the case um I have your Disney inspired products and designs. I love your Disney inspired products, designs and projects. Thank you. I meant to do a poll today. Um, actually, I'm gonna do it really quick. Um, do you guys have, can I do it on here? Or 
I'm not signed in as myself. Is that why? Yeah, I'm not signed in myself. Okay, we'll poll next week. I really want to ask you guys all about the ones who sublimate if you guys have 15,000 or the smaller one um, because I just got done designing a ton of sewing projects for you guys and no sew. Don't worry, I'm going to try to do it no sew too. Um, but I... Want it, I've been designing them all for the 15,000. So if you're here and you have a sublimation printer, just really quickly in the comments, let me know. 15,000, or if you're watching the replay, comment as well. 15,000 or the eight and a half by 11 printer, or do you have one that prints bigger? Um, I am going to Disney World, yes. Um, okay, cool, 15,000 Epson. Um, when are you going? I will be there in June. We are going in like two weeks in April. So I will, I'm going with three people, one person I've never met in real life and all three people I've never been to any Disney parks with. So that's your hint for the three people who I'll be going with. So eight and a half by 11, eight and a half by 11, eight and a half by 11, eight and a half by 11. Okay, good to know. So I will need to design everything I designed as well for eight and a half by 11. Um, so that's gonna be fun, but it's okay because I just have to make the templates for it. And we're gonna be, I'm doing a tutorial for every single thing that I come out with. Um, I have the Epson WF, so I think it does both. Eight and a half by 11, the foil plan. She said she's going to Orlando. Eight and a half by 11. Um, keep guessing, you never know. Smaller, please. Okay, good to know you guys all have eight and a half by 11s, which makes so much sense because, duh, like that's where we started and that's what I recommended to start with. So, um, I will be demoing on the larger ones because I have all those ones ready, but I will definitely be doing the smaller ones in designs. Do you guys sew? That's the next question. So if you're watching the replay, do you guys sew? If not, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm Yeah, there's a few different things that I'm gonna be showing off how to do with sublimation that I'm so excited for. I designed all weekend and I just kept making more and more things because I was like, I wanna craft all of this and I wanna do it all at the same time. So I just designed and designed and designed and it's just so much fun. Like they're so cute. Yes to sewing, no to sketch, just to stretch to sew. Yes to sewing, love to sew, yay. Um, yeah, it would be nice to, connect some people who don't have sublimation printers with people who do if they love to sew and they want to do some of these crafts. Eight and a half by 11 or eight and a half by 14. Yes to sewing. Yay! Okay, I'm glad a lot of you guys sew. All right, love you guys. I'll see you guys next week. Um, have a great rest of your Monday. Hopefully I cheered it up a little bit if you don't like Mondays. I personally love Mondays because I like to hang out with you guys. And I like my job because this is really fun. All right. Love you guys. Bye.